Hello, St. Lawrence School. Good to be with you. I hope you're all doing well and getting on with homeschooling okay. I was due to be in school this week to bring you a sketchboard assembly. And as we can't meet in school at the moment, I thought I would paint one up for you and send it to your homes and hope that you enjoy it. But before I begin the actual story, I'm going to ask you all a question. Have you ever been on a boat? I have, and uh, we're quite fortunate where we live in Molsey to be really close to the River Thames. Because if you go down there for one of your walks, you'll see loads of boats, all sorts of different kinds of boats as well. By Hampton Court Bridge, there are those lovely big white pleasure cruisers. I'd love to be in one of them. And then moored up by box, you'll see all those little boats that are hired out for a bit of fun in the summer. And then further in, you'll find the houseboats uh, around the islands and, and the rowers, Molesy Rowing Club, of course, they're out sometimes. And last year, I also saw a few people balancing a little bit precariously on these sort of water boards with a, a paddle. So I'm not sure whether that is a board or a boat, but it did look a lot of fun. So maybe you have had the fortune to be in a boat sometime. And I'm going to show you uh, another boat now. And here it is. And this is a boat typical of uh, the ancient Near East and also you can probably see them today and it is not on the River Thames but it is floating on a particular sea and the name of this sea is the Sea of Galilee, but it was such, it was really just a lake, but such a, a large lake that it felt like being on the sea. And I understand that actually the Sea of Galilee is about the same size of Washington DC, so a really massive place. The Sea of Galilee and the area of Galilee is where our good friend, spent a lot of time doing ministry and I'm sure you could probably some of you could probably paint this in yourselves his name our friend Jesus he spent a long time ministering to the people telling them about God's love, healing, praying for them. And you'll just see here, I've drew, drawn in, painted in some of the many people that gather together to hear Jesus preach and teach. So many of them that sometimes he actually had to get in a boat and come away from the shore for them all to be able to see and to hear him. And there was one particular day it had been a busy day, a lot of healing, a lot of preaching, a lot of teaching, a lot of joyful times with Jesus. And he said, OK, we now need to go over to the other side of the lake. We need to get in the boat and leave. So his 12 disciples went with him, if you remember, and I will put them all Let's put them in the boat first and so make sure I get enough in. Okay. So that is one, two, three, four, five so far. Uh, six, seven. Boat's getting a bit full, isn't it? I've got another five to get in and Jesus. So I'm going to put a couple sort of on the other side there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Another one here, 10, 11, and a 12th one up there. 
And then tucked in at the end, we've got Jesus. And there's Jesus. And they pushed out to shore and off they sailed. But as happens in this area, a big storm blew up. So first of all, first of all, black clouds gathered in the sky. And here, and there was a lot of wind and whooshing of wind. A lot of wind blowing and building up and building up. And if we were in the school at the moment, if we were in the assembly hall, I'd get you to do a bit of whooshing. From side to side. And as we know, when black clouds gather, very often what comes out of them but rain. So it started small, but then it gets bigger and bigger and the rain is coursing down here into the boat on the disciples dripping everywhere and the sea would begin to swell as well now i was on a boat once going over the going over the um bristol channel that sorry not the bristol channel going over the english channel and it went this way and my stomach went that way and then the boat swayed that way and my stomach went that way because it was very choppy waters and felt quite sick. And actually, I uh, wouldn't be surprised if one of these disciples might have been a bit seasick as well. Because it wasn't just the wind and the rain, but I need two brushes for this. But it was also the choppy waters piling across big waves. So our lovely calm sea becomes very choppy and some of the seawater would have gone into the boat as well making the disciples very wet and actually they began to get quite scared that their boat was going to capsize because it was actually going very high on the choppy seas and the waves and one of them said, my goodness, it's up to my knees. And the next one said, well, it's up to my hips now. Another, look, it's coming up to my neck. Let's try and get the water out. So they were bailing and bailing this water out of the boat to stop it from, from rocking so much and to keep them safe. And actually, they were so afraid that they actually thought they might drown. And they were very scared. But, you know, they had forgotten something, hadn't they? They had forgotten that in the boat with them was Jesus. So, so yes, Jesus, but, but where is he? Have you heard, have you seen him? Where is he? Just tucked in at the end of the boat, there was Jesus, completely unaware of the storm, sound asleep, because remember, he had had a busy day. And there he was snoring away at the back of the boat. Wake up, Jesus, the disciples said. Wake up, we're going to drown, we're going to die, we're in a storm. Jesus probably did this with his eyes a little bit and stood up and perhaps a bit of water slapped him across the face and he realises that there is a storm going on. But he isn't afraid. He says this to the disciples. Don't be afraid. I am here. I am with you. And then he did this amazing thing. He put his hand up and he said to the wind, be quiet. And the wind dropped down and went calm. And he put his other hand up and he said to the sea, be still. And the waves and the sea just calmed. The disciples could not believe it. Who is this man that even the waves and the wind obey him? 
and the storm was calm and they could go on their way. But you know, sometimes I feel a little stormy inside of me, a little, a little afraid, a little worried, a, a little anxious, and it feels like I'm tossing and turning in a boat. And I forget, just like the disciples, that I've got Jesus, that he is with me always. Because when he died on the cross, he rose again marvellously and incredibly came back to life so that he could be with us and that he could help us. And this is what Jesus does for us. When we're all a bit upset and a bit troubled, Jesus does this. Jesus calms our storms. And I often find myself needing just to calm down, remember Jesus is with me and pray, Lord, calm my storms. So I thought we would finish off with a prayer like that. And if you agree with the prayer at the end, say, Amen. You don't have to pray it, but I shall lead a little prayer. Jesus Thank you that you can calm the storms in me. Help me not to be afraid, but to trust you. Amen. So I pray that you have a lot of peace. This is the sign in BSL for peace. And hopefully be getting on really well. But remember that Jesus is always with you in the storms and in the good times. And I hope to be able to do another sketchboard for you soon. And it might be that we can do it in the school. But if not, I will simply paint another one and hope to see you soon. So God bless everybody and take care. Bye.